Good morning! Hey, it's June the 21st, 2022, and welcome to Jake's Bounty! That's right, I'm in my room because today it's going to be 100 degrees. Fuck. Let's go ahead and get into the show, why don't we? Alright, thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I am your host, Jake Hernandez. Let's get a little closer to the video camera. Okay, well, it is a Tuesday, Punk Tuesday, Fat Tuesday, Mama So Ugly Tuesday, and, well, we're going to have um, a little biography on a punk documentary from East Bay, all right, so we'll have that. Also, we'll have um, music that we heard today from The Henchmen, that was their song Ophelia, off of the album Ophelia, we'll hear from it later on. Also, we have... Um, Retro games and puzzles, and I don't know where it's at, but it's somewhere, and you guys can get for $5.99 when you type in the word retro. I also have my uh, Dogs for Dummies books. I don't have it right in front of me, but it is also just $5.99 when you type in the word dummy. All right, well, let's get into the news. There was some news last over uh, the last day. Two men have been killed in a four-car crash involving semi-truck in Merced County. This happened on Highway 59 at Furtado Road, 4.30 a.m. this morning. Three cars uh, were going southbound when a semi-truck veered off the road and hit them. And then uh, no alcohol or drugs have played a part. And they're just saying it's no reason why he veered off the road, but they're looking into more of it, investigating it. Fire Police um, Department had a vehicle there set on fire. This happened earlier this month at an intersection of Milton and Young. A name of Parlier Police uh, Officer was also on the side of it, not like written in, you know, uh, city uh, lettering, but uh, I think maybe in spray paint or some other kind of lettering that the uh, people who set the fire did. Anyway, the car uh, had. $40,000 worth of damages to it, and suspect faces arson charges as well as vandalism, and uh, if anybody has info, please let the uh, Parlier Police Department know. Police the car and police motorcycle crash in downtown Fresno. This happened north uh, street uh, south of Fresno. Happened at 7 a.m. Both cars are damaged. What happened was the uh, undercover uh, cop car pulled out in front of the motorcycle the cop car, uh, not motorcycle cop car, but motorcycle, and they ended up hitting, and the motorcycle uh, driver ended up going to the hospital for minor injuries, all right. Man shot at Fresno Playground, uh, police are looking for suspect at Dickey's Playground off of Glen and Divisadero, all right, it's happening at 8 p.m. yesterday, 49-year-old victim and suspect had a dispute, uh, believe no gang related if you have any information, please call the Fresno Police. All right. And finally, one found dead in Corcoran House Fire at Whitley Drive, Gary Avenue at 5.30 a.m. No foul play, but one dead person was found. No ID at this time. Okay. Well, um, today, like I said, is Punk Tuesday. So before I get to the uh, punk portion of the show, let me see if I can find my uh, Retro Games and Puzzles. Hold on one second. You guys haven't seen it, have you? <laughs> um, here it is, right here. Good thing I kept looking. Retro Trivia Games Puzzles, right here at Jake's Bounty. Type in the word retro, get it for $5.99. Let's see if uh, there is any questions right here. Okay. Which song did Billy Joel write after being inspired by Moonlighting? Was it Big Man on Old Mulberry Street, Uptown Girl, The Longest Time, or Scenes from an Italian Restaurant? I'm going to go with D. All right. Never watched that show, Moonlighting, but let's see. Uh, 
Joe said he was inspired to write the song after watching Moonlighting and then offered it to the producers to be used on the show. They used it to an episode aptly titled Big Man on Mulberry Street. Okay. Well, I guess I was wrong. Um, let's see. True or false? Was Mr. Belvedere almost canceled after the third season? I'm going to say true. Uh, true. While the show was loved among viewers, it didn't bring in the ratings the network was hoping for. They decided to cancel it after the third season, but this caused such a fan aboard that they reconsidered the show ended up airing for another three years. All right. And let's do one more. All right. So let's do, let's see. Um, here's one that I think almost, <sighs> almost all of us know. Which actor stars with Detective James Crockett in Miami Vice? Was it A. Mickey Rourke, B. Don Johnson, C. Nick Nolte, or D. Jeff Bridges? And the answer is B. Don Johnson. All right. Hopefully you guys know that. If you didn't, you probably weren't uh, born. <laughs> because that show ended in 1989 and came out, I think, in 1984, 85. Correct me from the comments below. Um, but, yeah. So, you can go and get this book right here. It's uh, retro games, video, puzzles, uh, a little bit of everything. And you can get it right now over at Jake's Bounty. When you type in the word retro, you get this guy for just $5.99. All right, here we go. All right, well, it is, like I said, a Punk Tuesday. And we're going to go ahead and talk about the Punk documentary, East Bay Punks. Right. Well, let me go ahead and bring it on my handy dandy computer and uh, give me a second right here. Turn it around was the story of the East Bay Punk is a 2000 document, 2017 documentary about the punk rock music scene of San Francisco surrounding San Francisco Bay Area from the late 1970s to the 1990s. By the way, I was born in Hayward, which is also East Bay. Uh, it features performances of dozens of associated artists, uh, notably Green Day. Iggy Pop provides vo voiceover for narration throughout the film. All right. Synopsis. The story begins with a look at the growth of punk rock in the San Francisco area through the 1970s, 80s, ultimately set in the scene's locus of activities, 924 Gilman Street, in which the documentary consists of vintage performances by various artists of the area, including Kathleen Hanna, Tim Armstrong, Larry Livermore, uh, Penelope Houston, Trey Cool, Ian McKay, Joe Bifera, Miranda July, and among others. All right, okay. Uh, here's some of the songs you can uh, get from the album and some of the bands as well. Another Day by Crimsfrine, I Want to Be on TV by Fang, Thoughts of War by Christ on Parade, uh, Sweet Children by Sweet Children, uh, at Gilmore's, at Gilman Street by the Mr. T Experience. There's also She's from Salinas by Sweet Baby. Uh, there's many, many uh, tracks, total of 35 altogether. And then there's another 46 tracks listed that they didn't list. So uh, even more songs. And where can you go out and find, turn it around, the story of East Bay Punk? Well, you can find it on any media music uh, platform, all right? Be it Spotify, YouTube, uh, you know, Pandora, whatever it may be, all right? So go ahead and go find, turn it around, the story of East Bay Punk, all right? Well, hey, I did find some cans today. I haven't even sorted them out, so I'm all fucked up. Um, but I did find... Um, Coca Cola bottle and a 7 Up bottle, and I also found a grapefruit uh, Warito uh, glass, and then I found a little big old Life Waters, and then just a one liter Diet Pepsi. All right, and I didn't find anything on my excursion no diamond rings or amplifier heads or anything like that. Um, no word yet on whether I'm going to turn in the rings, you know. I still got those TikTok videos up. You guys keep on watching those and give me the views and subscribing. So I thank you very much for all that. And I'll tell you about tomorrow's show. We're going to be having What the Fuck Wednesdays. We're having the news. I'll also be having cans, obviously, my bounty. And so much more. We'll be having uh, sponsors like uh, 
Call of Duty, The Finest Hour, over here at Ray's Video, $1 seven-day rental. I don't have it in front of me, but I'll try to remember tomorrow, I promise. All right. And like I said, we still have retro trivia buzz, uh, puzzles. Trivia puzzles over here at Jake's Bounty, $5.99. We type in the word retro. And we still got the dog training for dummies book, also $5.99. We type in the word dummy. All right. So go ahead and get that right now at jakesbounty.com. Uh, and also here is, I was almost going to say Instruments of Murder, but it is The Henchmen with Ophelia, their song Ophelia from their album Ophelia. <laughs> and uh, you guys have a good rest of the day. Be good to yourselves and be good to each other. I'll see you tomorrow. Shit. The X Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2022. You can follow us on Facebook, his channel, his website. We like, leave a comment. As always, please subscribe.